All right. Well, uh, coming up on our, our next uh, call in segment here. Um, mm-hmm. Another expert guest coming in hot, everybody. Um, and this one's a doozy. This is like some highbrow shit we're about to get into right now. We're dealing with a professor. Okay. And not just any professor. I think everybody knows his professor. Okay. Uh, Dr. Poppy Eggsberth. Anybody? Dr. Poppy Eggsberth. Let me read a little bio just in case anybody's not in the know on this one. Professor of Obscure pa- Space Time and at the Dungsboro Institute is a nationally recognized scholar. His work centers on urban portraits, portals, and the worlds within them. That's urban portals and the worlds within them. A former fellow of the International Association of Learned Studies, Dr. Poppy's new book, which we have a picture of here, or we can wait to bring him in on it and talk about it, but I'll, I'll, I'll intro it right now and then we'll bring it back. It's Treat Us on the Theory of Spontaneous Placitudes and Institisms ipso facto where when and how in the accompanying published lectures of generally why it hits shelves this month folks this month and it's now available on walden books dr poppy eggsberth hello, hello dr fellows. poppy wow yeah, hello this, jay bird oh, so classy he's even got the book behind him this is really oh cool. uh, oh is oh, that there <laughs> yeah, I, I, honestly, the the cover is fantastic. It's probably one of the shortest covers you've ever done. Usually, your titles are much longer. I'm trying to, um, you know, edge in on the popular science field. Yeah, I, I wasn't lying about highbrow. Like I've tried reading some of your earlier work, and I honestly don't understand a damn thing about it. Well, Mike, I'm I'm happy to answer any questions you or your callers have. Okay. Uh, can you elaborate a little bit on, on what an urban portal is? Yeah. Mm, of course. So, um, in uh, in layperson's terms, it's a uh, when there's a place and time that leads to another uh, place or time. So, and like, uh, as you know, Providence, home of the Dongsboro Institute, is a hot spot globally of urban portals. So which, from reading your book, from what I understand, like kind of just piggybacking what you just said, like Providence mm-hmm. in particular in the entire world is a real hot spot for these urban portals. It's not just like anywhere else. It's almost like, you know, um, how certain plants grow in certain parts of the world in ge- geological areas. They're just prone to grow uh, more naturally. So from what I understand about your book, Providence is a natural hotspot for these urban portals into, I guess we could call, I don't know if is other dimensions, the proper terminology. Like I keep thinking mm. about like the line, the witch in the wardrobe of like, you know, cause you, in your book, you describe kind of it's in the least places you'd expect. It's kind of in plain sight. There are no but, lions in Providence. Right, right, right. Sure. Um, totally. So it's not yeah, it nothing like lion, joke. which, yeah. That was a joke. I don't that know was, what that is. Yeah, me either. That's stupid. Same. Yeah. yeah um, <clears throat> so uh, Mikey and I have been participating yeah. in uh, the act of bike riding. Yeah. Are you yeah. familiar? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm an avid cyclist myself. Um, yeah, cyclist. So, that's what we meant to say. Yes, yes. Uh, so we are, you know, looking for a location that's kind of uh, hilly that we can kind of go and bring our bikes to and um, work our calves yeah, out. Definitely getting mm. those calf muscles toned. Oh, fellows! For the summer. Are you familiar with the big blue bug? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fam- famous right. big blue bug. Yes. All right. What you need to do is either get on the roof, or, or better yet, have your research uh, assistant. Get on the roof right, where the one. big blue bug nibbles wood away can be seen. And uh, if you get yourself under the left wing from the bug's perspective, uh-huh. you will find yourself in current day 
San Francisco, California. Whoa. Oh my god, that's an LA area. That's exactly. I honestly, that's we were talking about that last week. We're like, my god, if we could only live in a place like, San- okay, yeah. Should we go this? Should we go there this Saturday? Let's do it. This week. Let's do it. I, I mean, so I have to ask, like, will a bike fit through these portals? Are they generally small? Like, can anybody? kind of just get through can they bring supplies like is it my recommendation uh, after 30 years of this inquiry is that you uh you butter yourself and butter. you butter your bicycle okay. mm. and if for vegan vegan friendly people i'm sure margarine is a, a uh, earth, earth balance is what earth I, balance. I would recommend Maybe olive, <laughs> olive oil or is it happen? No, 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 all of that. The stoop. No, no, why? Okay, yeah. Um, all right. Well, uh, we're going to open the, the phone lines here uh, for you guys out there. Uh, call yeah. in with your uh, uh, questions if you guys w- are looking for yeah. a specific location or uh, you have found a spot even. Uh, feel free to call. Uh, we mm. are getting text messages, but I want to remind okay. everybody that we are uh, you know, participating in a giveaway. So send those thirst traps. Continue sending those thirst traps. Um, yeah. But, you know, if you've got a question for Dr. Poppy, uh, please call in and we have a call now. <sighs> Fantastic. This is a huge opportunity for everyone, by the way, to talk to you. You're such an icon. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> caller, what's your name and where are you call- calling from? Uh, hi, this is Tom Epstein. I'm calling from Barrington. Oh, hi, Tom. Tom, what's up, bud? Hey, how are you? How is everybody? Hey. Oh, man, hey. Doing great. Um, I just had a question uh, for Dr. Poppy. Uh, what kind of uh, butter do you recommend to go through portals? Mm, that's an excellent question. I uh, I recommend uh, Kerrygold butter softened in a microwave for 20 seconds. Okay. okay. Great, great. Thank you. Right. Uh, thanks, mm. thanks for calling. Mm. Uh, we received one other uh, call mm. that uh, I, we missed, but yeah, I uh, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna call back. I'm gonna call him yeah. back. Yeah, I think. calling Can you I back. Do that? Call you back. Coming at you. Coming at you. I don't know how to call back on Google Voice. Call, if you call do, back. If you, call back, please. Um, but we, I do have a text message uh, question here. Uh, yeah. Question for Professor Oak. Oh. oh, there they are. Caller, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, caller. Hi, uh, no, this is Tom Epstein from Barrington. Hi, Tom Hello. Epstein. Tom. Um, All right. Hello again. Interesting. Speaking uh, of thirsty. <laughs> for sure. Tom, uh, what, what's your question? Oh, oh, uh, well, I just, uh, I, I have, um, I'm holding aloft uh, the gigantic wooden pig sword that uh, I participated in a, a charity event to raise funds for this, this, this great nonprofit several years ago, and I'm, I'm holding it aloft right now. What should I do with it? Oh, mm. first this is of more all, of a, 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 a current day uh, a problem. Uh, if if Doctor Poppy could 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 help me, what what do I do with it? Okay, well, uh, you should be aware that this is outside of my field of scholarship, uh, but you know. Tom Epstein, since this is your second call and you seem to be quite a <laughs> poppy head, uh, <laughs> I'll do my best. Guilty. Uh, uh, yes. Um, I, I think you should um, treasure that sword as a, a keepsake forever. Mm. Yeah, nothing right, like put the sword down. That's what I'm hearing. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, calling, Tom uh, Epstein. That's Thanks, not Tom. what I said. Uh, keep those calls coming in. Uh, yeah, anybody, even Tom Epstein again, if you want. Um, yeah. Oh, we we we've got our, our third caller here. All right, uh, let's do it. Caller, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, hi. This is this is Tom Epstein. I'm calling from California. This is a I went through a portal and I'm covered in covered in butter. I, I oh went through God. a portal, uh, and my question for the professor is: How do I get back through the portal? Mm, 
Um, I, Tom, Epstein, I think I'm going to have to direct you to my colleague, uh, doc, Dr. Spengloss, Spengloss. Uh, also of the Dongsboro Institute, as his field of study is returning from urban portals. I can't help you. Okay. Sorry, Tom. You're just, you're, you're, what, are, oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Good sorry, luck. Tom. Tom. Good, good luck, Tom. Yeah, wow, that's, sorry, Tom. That's yeah. unfortunate. Um, yeah. I guess, I really. guess we should have specified on the back end of that what could happen. I huh? guess. Do you deal with this a lot, Doctor Poppy? Um, do you find yes. that you you get a lot of you know because this is such this is such a life altering event that can happen to someone by going through these Indeed. portals? Mm -hmm. um, but maybe we should. I mean, yeah, people. There must be. You must get a lot of uh, hmm, complaints. Maybe that's from people. that's why you have to sign a liability waiver to purchase my book, uh, Tato Spaf Wawa Plagwa, as I call it for short. Tato Spaf Wawa. Wow, that makes a lot of sense. We have we have time for one more uh, caller, mm. and then we got to take a break. But uh, here we go, caller. Uh, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Yeah, um, are you only taking uh, calls from Tom Epstein tonight? Because that's not my name. Not no, at all. No, 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 we're not. We're hoping to all get callers. a call from somebody else. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, yeah. So, so, uh, yeah. My name's uh, my name's Ed, and I'm calling from uh, uh, Coventry. Ooh. And um, uh, first of all, first of all, uh, long time listener, first time caller. Uh, so you guys are great. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, but, 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 um, Doctor Poppy. Um, yes. I hope you don't mind if I just call you Doctor Poppy. That's not at all. Refer to you around here. Oh, great, great. Uh, can you tell us a little bit of how did you come up with the name of your book? I, I, I was going through Walden books and I, and it just it just spoke to me and uh, um, I picked it up and it is it has changed my life. Yeah, it's a nice call. That's why I do the work. Mm. Uh, my goal was to reach simple people like your, yourself. And so uh, in an effort to um, aim for the middle and popularize my research, I uh, endeavored to select a title that was as um, middle brow as possible. Well, yeah. mission accomplished. I mean, you're right. I'm a simple guy. I'm, a, I'm from Coventry, for God's sake. You know, so, Fair enough. So not, not a special. And boy, is it middle brow. That title is middle brow. So mm. my, my hat's off to you. My hat's off to you. Thank, thank you. And, you, and, you, you, and you as well. Thank you so much for calling. Yeah, thanks, Ed. Um, it's my thank you, Ed. Uh, is it really? It is. Uh, Dr. Poppy, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, where can we find your book one more time? Yeah. Um, at, at any of the malls uh, with uh, Walden Books. Walden Books. Available Walden now. Books. Wow. All right. Well, and thank check, you so check much. Out the, check out the entire line of books that Dr. Poppy has written. It's, it's life-altering and extremely confusing. Absolutely. Dr. Poppy, we'll have to have you back on sometime in the near future. Thank you so much. Good night, fellows. Good night. Thank you. Wow, that was an in, both an informative uh, segment and a bit of a, a, a spiritual one, if you will. Uh, I yeah. think Tom is really uh, finding himself out in California. Uh, yeah, that's uh, or, good luck, Tom. Seriously, yeah. Hope you, uh, call hope you're us find a way back. Yeah, call us if you need help. Mm -hmm.